Hello, I'm Robin Worley, welcome to Lenscraft. In today's video, I'll be explaining some of the ways you can add a border to an image using Affinity Photo. Although I'm using Affinity Photo for this, the same technique also applies in Photoshop. The methods I want to walk you through build on each other, and you can use them when preparing photos for the likes of Instagram. We start with a simple white or transparent border before looking at adding coloured borders. After that, I'll show you how to add a patterned or decorative border to a photo. Let's start by using something called the document canvas to create a border. You might not realise it, but there are two parts to this image when it's open in Affinity Photo or Photoshop. First you have the actual image, and that sits on the second part which is called the canvas. You don't normally see the document canvas because it's the same size as the image, so the image covers it. When we resize the image, it also resizes the canvas, so most people don't realise it's there. But it is possible to resize the canvas separately to the image, and if we make it larger than the image, we can see it. To resize the canvas, I select the command Document Resize Canvas in the Affinity Photo menu. This displays the canvas dialog where I can enter the new canvas size. Let's say that in this example, I want to add 100 pixel border to each edge of my image. Currently, the image and canvas are 3000 pixels wide by 2000 pixels high. If I increase the canvas by 200 pixels on both the width and the height, I'll make it visible around the edges of the image. Notice that when I enter the new width for the canvas, Affinity changes the height in proportion. That's because of this little padlock icon, which locks the aspect ratio of the canvas. If I click the padlock icon, it toggles it open and I can enter the new width of the document. The other important settings that I need to change is the anchor point. This controls the positioning of the image on the canvas after the canvas is resized. Because I want the canvas to show evenly around the edges of the image, I need to position the image in the center. I can do this by clicking the center point on the anchor grid. When I click the resize button, you can see the canvas now extends around the edge of the image frame. But notice the canvas is transparent around the edges, which is what this checkered pattern indicates. Now you may want to have a transparent border for your image, in which case export the image using the PNG format. We use the PNG format because it preserves the transparent border, unlike the JPEG format. If you export the image to a JPEG file instead, it converts the transparent area of the border to white. Another way to control the transparent background is using the option in the document menu. By clicking this option, you can toggle the transparency off and on. Now let's say that you don't want a white border around the image, but you want it to be blue or some other colour. We can do this by extending what we've already done. I'm going to start by selecting the rectangle tool from the tools palette. Then I'll use this to draw a rectangle shape around the document that covers the entire canvas. Now in the studio panel, I can see the original image layer called the background and above this, the new rectangle layer. If I click and drag the rectangle layer, I can reposition it below the background layer. Now the image is covering the rectangle except around the edges to create the border effect. Then, by selecting the rectangle layer and clicking the fill option in the toolbar, I can change the border colour to anything I like. Then, I can export the image to a JPEG file so that it has a coloured border. But, we can take this even further now by adding a background image as the border. Because Christmas is coming up, I decided to download a free Christmas pattern from Freepik. I'll include the details of the pattern and a link to it in the YouTube video description. Although it's a free image, it's still someone else's work and they need crediting for creating this. I'll start by copying the image using the keyboard shortcut or the menu. I can then switch back to my image and paste it there as a new layer. Now because the pattern image I copied is around twice the size of my image, I need to resize it using the move tool. When I then click the new image layer, I see the sizing handles appear on the corners of the layer. I can then click and drag these to resize the image and reposition it on the canvas. After that, I can reorder the image layer to be on top of the other layers in the Layers Studio panel. Unfortunately, the border I originally created isn't large enough to show the pattern properly. This time, rather than increasing the size of the canvas, I'll show you how to resize the image. 
If I click on the image layer with the move tool, I can see the handles, only these are crosses and I can't change the image size. That's because the image layer is locked, which is indicated by this little padlock in the layer studio panel. To unlock it, I can right click on the layer and select the lock option in the pop-up menu to toggle the lock off and on. Alternatively, I can just click the padlock icon in the layer studio panel. Now I can use the handles on the image to resize it. Finally, I think I'll add a drop shadow effect to the image layer, just to finish off. Now I just need to export this, and I have my finished image with a festive border. So there you have some simple ways you can use to add a border to your photos. I hope that you've picked up some helpful ideas and tips from today's video. I'm Robin Waldy, you've been watching Lenscraft, I'll see you soon for another video.